Hello everyone, Nick and Mike here. We are gonna go through some ankle mobility tools. Okay, these are tools that can help open up your ankle but also your hip because they're very interconnected. Um, so let's start with stride stand stuff. We'll give some different variations. That sounds good. So what we're gonna do is cover a few archetypes uh, where your ankle would be put into its uh, dorsiflex position. We'll, we'll touch on the plantar flexion too, but. So what's dorsiflexion? If someone doesn't flexion. know what dorsiflexion is, that's essentially when the shin starts traveling forward and the ankle goes into this flexed or bent position, whereas plantar flexion is the opposite where it's kind of going away from us. So that's where we were going to start. Um, and this split stance position or walk stride stance position, it's kind of mimicking, it's an archetype for how we would walk, run, push off. And we're really honing in on this back ankle here in this mobilization. And uh, this position alone will start to get us, first of all, it's going to challenge our balance a little bit just being here. And this is very, um, you know, it's a very human and natural thing to do. And as we're walking, one leg's going out front, one leg's going behind. But if we can see here, my ankle's actually starting to go into more of a bend here. And I can play around with this by simply pushing my knee forward a little bit and actually seeing what it's like to compress fully. I can actually let the heel come up a bit too. And then I can start to play around with extending my hip actively too as I do this. So squeezing my glute pushing my hip through, and you'll see that there's a big coupling there. So a big thing, I mean, Mike's got a lot of dorsiflexion, so you probably won't have this much, but a big thing that he's doing is keeping his midsection tight so that his back's not arching when he does this. Because when your hip goes forward, it will often really tight here. If that's clamped down, you end up arching at your back. So really making sure, you might not go as far forward, but you should be feeling this in the front of your hip and in the back of your ankle. And just playing with where the tension is and just kind of sitting in there for a bit. I could also make it wider, so the wider I get, then the more dorsiflexion I'd be challenging myself with and just seeing can I keep my heel down a little bit, can I let it come up a bit. We don't have to be super strict on keeping the heel down here. I'm just in this deep lunge or split stance position and I can play around with, again, getting my glute on, sinking into it, letting the heel come up a bit, and, and that's that. So what we can do, we go to the yeah. wall? Yeah, go to the wall. And the thing here is you're not trying to stick in one position, you're really trying to explore. So kind of like figure out, you know, always stay in motion, always be exploring and kind of figuring out where are my tight spots, where does it feel good, where does it pinch if I'm going too intense. So make sure to explore and not just stay in one spot. I'm gonna bring, I'll bring the camera over. Sounds good. So we can even start with a wall position here and it makes it a little easier we no longer no longer have to balance here and this might be where you start and again you can just explore letting the heel come up come down you know you can make your stance wider and just see how that feels to couple that that hip extension and that ankle dorsiflexion here and very similar to you walking up a hill and really taking some long strides as you walk up a hill you might not be this deep into it but this is going to give you a chance to practice that now the byproduct here might be a calf stretch, but that's not the that's not the goal here. So the, the the goal here is to just expose your ankle to this dorsiflex position. And again, if you get a stretch along the way, great. But that's not what we're doing; it's just holding a stretch. So, cool. awesome.